In this video, we're going to go over how to set up a virtual penetration testing lab environment using VirtualBox. VirtualBox is free and open source. For this lab, we will have three virtual machines running inside VirtualBox. I'll go through how to set these up and where to get the virtual machine images as well. The three machines we use are Kali Linux uh, 2018.1, Metasplitable right here, 2, Metasplitable 2, and a Windows 10 virtual machine. So first off, the first thing you need to do is download VirtualBox and install it on your host operating system. In this case, for my setup, I have VirtualBox running on a Windows 10 host. So I downloaded the Windows host right here. Once you've installed that, you can download the virtual machines we will run inside VirtualBox. The first one I downloaded and installed was Kali Linux, which is our attacker platform. If you go to Kali.org, in downloads here, <clears throat> you can scroll down. And what's cool about Kali is it has virtual machines right here for VBox, VirtualBox, already available. What this means is you do not have to install the virtual machine. You simply have to import it into VirtualBox. So if I scroll down and select Kali, Linux virtual box images. The one I have set up uh, in this instance is the Kali Linux VBox 64 bit OVA. So the OVA file is a file that VirtualBox understands. The other virtual machine that we have set up is Metasplitable 2. So you can go here to this URL, and all these links will be in the About section beneath the video. And you can download Metasplitable 2, the zip file right here, but the zip file only contains the VMware version for Metasplitable 2. You can, if you have VMware, import the VMware version and then export it as a OVA or OVF file to run in VirtualBox. Um, and by the way, this, this same setup will work with VMware. I'm just showing you how to do it with VirtualBox. If you want the OVA file and don't want to go through the hassle of converting it, uh, the OVA file is, av is available here on the alpinesecurity.com slash resources slash penetration testing um, website. So under targets, there's Metasploitable 2, which takes us to the link we just looked at, and there's here uh, the OVA file, which you can download direct. This saves you the step of converting it. The other target we want, and we looked at this here, we have three target or one attacker and two targets. The other target is the Windows 10 target. With Microsoft, on this link here under developer.microsoft.com slash English or en dash us slash Microsoft dash edge slash tools slash VMs, this URL, you can download a virtual machine of various operating systems, Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. And you can use that for 90 days. These virtual machines, let's choose one as an example. I'll say MS Edge on Windows 10. You can select the platform and it will automatically download or the appropriate formatted um, virtual machine for your platform you choose here. So this works with VirtualBox, Vagrant, VMware, and Parallels. Select VirtualBox as a zip file, but this will have a OVF file you can import into VirtualBox. So we've got VirtualBox, our virtualization platform, Kali Linux, Metasploitable 2, and a Windows target. 
A couple things you have to do when you download all those, uh, you have to import them as an appliance into VirtualBox Manager. And once you import them, there's a couple tricks. Um, Kali Linux tends to have a problem with the USB uh, device. So once you import it, if you have a problem starting it up, you can go to settings, USB, and change it to use USB 1.1. That should fix the USB problem with Kali. With uh, Metasportable 2, this one seems to import OK. Windows 10, if you do not specifically change the settings uh, here under basic, the type of operating system and the version, 64-bit, you will get an error when you try to start at the Windows 10 virtual machine. VirtualBox does not do a very good job automatically figuring out the type of the system or the version of the system. So it's, you're better off selecting it uh, yourself. Also, when you first start VirtualBox, you can start your targets. They will not be able to talk to each other because by default, they're set up for NAT, but they're NATed only to speak through the host. So what you need to do in VirtualBox Manager is go here to File, Preferences, under network, you need to set up a NAT network. By default, you'll see nothing here. So what I did is select, chose the plus button here. I chose a new NAT network. And then I clicked on this settings button over here, the little gear icon. I simply named mine Pentest Lab. And I changed the default network IP range to be 10.1.1.0 slash 24. So I'll remove this test one here. And then I'll show you the settings for the one I just set up. There it is right there. And now once you have this set up globally in VirtualBox, you have to configure each virtual machine to use that network. So I'll click on the Kali virtual machine. I've already done this, but I'll just walk you through it. Then you click on settings on network. And by default, this will just say NAT. So if it says NAT, your virtual machine will be able to talk to the internet, but they won't be able to talk to, it won't be able to talk to other virtual machines. So we need to change it to net, NAT network and then specify the NAT network. In this case, we only have one. So I said pen test lab on that one. Under Metasplitable 2, same process. Also, when you import Metasplitable 2, you may have more than one adapter enabled. You can disable all the adapters except one. Again, put that, change it from NAT to NAT network, pen test lab, same thing with the Windows machine. Under the settings and network, and NAT. Once all three of those are set up, your virtual machines to test this should be able to talk to each other. So let's do a quick test and let's make sure they got an IP address on the range we configured. Just to review the IP range I configured for Pentest Lab was 10.1.1.0 and is set up for DHCP. So each of the virtual machines, when started, should get a 10.1.1.something address from the VirtualBox DHCP server. And what's also good about this setup is it prevents the machines from being, being directly exposed. It prevents these three virtual machines from being directly exposed to the internet they're hidden behind your host operating system and they can only really talk to each other directly. Uh, other than that, they have to go through the host to get to something on the internet. So let's do a quick test here. So I'm gonna minimize uh, this. I'm gonna bring up 
the Kali Virtual Machine in VirtualBox, which I have already started, and the Metasploitable 2 Virtual Machine. So let's just verify we have connectivity between the two. And we received an IP address. So here's the Kali Virtual Machine. If you haven't logged on to Kali before, you can log on as root as the username and tour or root backwards as the password. I'm going to open up a command prompt here or terminal window. I'll type ifconfig. It looks like I have an address right here of 10.1.1.5. So this is on the subnet we configured for DHCP within VirtualBox. Let's check Metasploitable 2. The logon for Metasploitable 2, uh, as it tells you, is MSF admin and MSF admin. So I'll do ifconfig 10.1.1.4. And let's make sure, I'll go to, back to the Kali virtual machine, that we can ping Metasploitable two and it looks like we can ping it let's also check that we have internet connectivity so i'm going to ping 8.8.8.8 which is google's public dns server and we ha have connectivity there as well so the other machine i haven't started up is the windows machine but it's the exact same process we'll bring it up we'll log on to it we'll do an ip config and verify we have connectivity uh, between all of our virtual machines that are part of the Kali, I'm sorry, part of the uh, pen test lab. The other cool thing you can do with VirtualBox is take snapshots. So once you get these configured the way you want them configured, uh, you can take a snapshot. As an example, if this Windows 10 machine is the way I want it configured, I can click on take and name a snapshot. Um, name the snapshot and then it will save that snapshot of the Windows 10 machine at that point in time. This is very useful if you are making changes and want to be able to revert back to a previously um, a previous state. So the next video will cover some exploitation with this lab. The purpose of this, purpose of this video is really just to get uh, explain how the pen test lab should be set up with this particular environment and how to get through a few problems that you might encounter like the explicitly specifying for this one uh, the type and version that was one of the problems you might encounter for Kali you might have an issue with the USB so make sure you select 1.1 for Metasploitable 2 you may have a problem with more than one NIC. So make sure under the network adapters you disable the other NICs. And also remember uh, Metasplitable 2 that if you want the OVA file, you need to go to the alpinesecurity.com um, resources page. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can comment beneath the video and uh, we'll do our best to answer. Thank you.